What's up, everybody? So we've gotten to the point where this little guy constantly, constantly, constantly needs attention, wants to be played with all day, will actually play all day if you let him. He'll actually get to the point where he's completely out of breath, coughing, hacking, throwing up everything he just ate, but still wanting to play and like wanting to continue to play. So if you have a Yorkie, stay tuned. We're gonna show you exactly how to keep your puppy busy, or how to keep your dog busy when you have work to do. Especially if you work from home, this video is gonna help you out a whole lot. So, uh, how do people usually do it? Oh yeah, roll the intro. So, first things first, every Yorkie is different, but you will come across a couple of times where you have a Yorkie that just wants to play. He just wants attention. He wants to literally be up under you every minute of the day. And if you're like me and my wife, uh, well, really like my wife, I'm always out and about. But if you're like my wife and you work from home, you're probably going to go crazy just sitting here trying to figure out how to keep this little thing busy the entire time because as you see he has his ball and I just ruined that for myself now he wants to do this for the rest of the night and you're probably in a situation too where he wants to do this for the rest of the night it's cute it's fun but if you got work to do yeah you can't do this and be on a zoom call Like I said, you can't do that and be on a Zoom call. So anyway, let me show you what I have learned are the best ways to keep your Yorkie busy while you're, you know, trying to pay the bills. Housekeeping tip number one for keeping your Yorkie busy and making sure he's not bothering you. All of these little, all of his toys and all these little chew things. Yeah, if all of these are out, this guy here is going to think that that's how it should always be and he's never going to leave you alone because he knows that this stuff is just always out so it no longer becomes a treat to him uh so definitely at the end of the night or even during the middle of the day after you've noticed that your puppy is playing with one toy well you can't see the toy right now but he's playing with one toy and you see all of these other toys laying around yeah take him out of the room put them in their own special location even if you can see them like we have this little spot right here hey family i just put everything right there he can't get to it unless he decides to be to you know determined to be a mountain climber and he can't find it and as you can see I, he can see it but you know he can't get to it he's already going back to continuously playing with his little blue ball hey Charlie, how's it going yeah Say something for the camera. Why not? Okay, apparently there is a treat in there. But anyway, so yeah. All of these little chew things that he chews on in the middle of the night. Yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and yeah. So that's one thing. Whenever whenever you have anything laying around, any toys for your dogs laying around, put them away. Next tip, when you're sitting at your desk and you're trying to get some work done and the little one comes bothering you, one of the best things to have are tug toys. We have several tug toys, and as you can see right now, yeah, he's trying to get to this one. We picked this one up at Target. I think it was like three bucks. There are plenty of tug toys, and you can almost turn anything into a tug toy. And I promise you, it will keep him going crazy. Now, the common misconception about tug toys is that you literally have to be holding it in order for your dog to, you know, tug on it and play with it. But what I have found is that if you have like, say, some kind of a heavy object that you can wrap this in around the leg of, 
or even simply if you have a short puppy like we do as he's sitting as he's down there he's gonna want to tug he's gonna want to play so i'll just take this stick my toe in it and now he can tug away tug 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 he does have a little bit of strength though, so every now and then he's like pulling me across the room in the chair. But then what ends up happening is, of course, you gotta make him feel like they got a reward and you'll, you'll let it go. He comes back to your foot. Wait for him to do like that, how it's sticking out. Grab it like that, and boom, games begin again. You got your toes on it. Use those extremities, people. Now, I can check some emails. Okay, so another tip for when you're working, you take that special toy that they haven't seen in a while um, or that they just decide to want to destroy within a heartbeat. You take it, you chuck it into wherever your spouse is and you close the door. <laughs> now you have peace and quiet for at least an hour or before your wife decides to try and kill your puppy and you have to come and rescue him. So use that hour wisely take a break, take a nap, do some work, preferably take a break, and then go from there. Puppy's still alive, wife's still happy. Let's go to the next tip. Now, worst case scenario, if tug toys don't work for you, and like I said, we have, have a million tug toys, um, or if the tug toy that you gave him is currently being ripped to shreds, didn't stand a chance, and all of your squeaky things don't work either, I have a really, really easy save for everybody anybody can do it it works on any dog especially highly energetic ones that love chasing things especially people and cars for the incredible price of one dollar the best toy to get your energetic puppy or dog the best thing to get them to leave you alone a ball preferably a huge ball a big ball even bigger than this if as long as it rolls and it bounces because the best thing about this it won't get stuck on anything it won't get stuck under anything and it bounces and goes everywhere and your dog's gonna love it shala go play And just like that, you have saved your day for literally, depending on your puppy's energy level, probably a couple of hours. That ball, it's not gonna get stuck under anything. It's not gonna get stuck on anything. And it's gonna bounce around and move around as much as your puppy. And the best thing about it is for a dollar, you, you just got your puppy something that's gonna keep them busy and doesn't get tired and doesn't have to worry about paying bills. So. Head to the dollar store, you know, they're not sponsoring me to tell you this. I mean, I'm pretty sure they'd only give me a dollar anyway, but anyway, go get yourself a huge ball, rubber, latex, beach ball, whatever you got. Give it to your puppy and then get back to work, people. We got work to do. If this tip was helpful or if you're like, duh, knew that, or if you have any better ideas, hit us up in the comments. Uh, hit that subscribe button if this helped. Hit that like button if you want to see more T'Challa videos. But other than that, Maddie has some new gear I need to hear about so that I can, you know, keep my vlog game up. Um, and the puppy's going to go ahead and continue losing his mind with that ball. I'll catch you guys later. Really? What? what?
what? Why now? You you know I'm working. Oh, you know I'm working. Why? Why? I'm not, I got work to do. You're not gonna let me do any work, huh? You just you're not gonna let me do any work. <sighs>